Hi and welcome to the session. I'm Priyanka and I'm going to help you with the following question. Which says, in which quadrant or in which axis do each of the point minus 2, 4, 3, minus 1, minus 1, 0, 1, 2 and minus 3, minus 1, 5 lie? Verify your answer by locating them on the Cartesian plane also. So, let us start with our solution. Let us name all the points first. Minus 2, 4, 3, minus 1, minus 1, 0, 1, 2, and the fifth point is given to us as minus 3, minus 5. Now, for each point, now we need to tell in which quadrant or axis they belong to. Now, minus 4, minus 2, 4 lies in the second quadrant. Because in the second quadrant, our abscissa is in negative and our ordinate is in positive. That means x is in negative and y is a positive number. Simultaneously, we will be plotting them on the Cartesian plane also. This is the x-axis. This is the y-axis. This is the positive side of the x-axis and the negative side of the x-axis. Let us plot a few points on it. As I have told you before also that this is the first quadrant, this is the second quadrant, this is the third quadrant and this is the fourth quadrant. Now we will be plotting the points and it will be verified whether my answer that I told to you was right or wrong. Minus 2, 4 that means minus 2 from here and 4 from here so that means this is a point which is minus 2, 4 and doesn't it lie in the second quadrant. So, I was right, isn't it? So, proceeding on to the next one. 3 minus 1. Now, 3 is positive and minus 1, so me, that means we need to move to our downward arrow. And that means this is a point that is 3 minus 1. And in which quadrant does it lie? It lies in quadrant Four. Proceeding on further, the point minus one zero. The, here it is minus one. Always the first letter is the abscissa. That means it lies on the x-axis. So minus one and zero. So that means this is a point which is talked about in the question, and it does not lie in any of the quadrant. So where does it lie? It is lying on the x-axis. So the answer to this part is x axis. Isn't it simple? Proceeding on further like this only. Now we have 1, 2. Both are positive. So that means 1, 2. And it must lie in the first quadrant. Because in the first quadrant both the abscissa and the ordinate are positives. So the answer will be written as quadrant 1. Now the point minus 3 minus 5 since both are negative so that means it will be in the fourth quadrant that is sorry that will be in the third quadrant as minus 3 and then minus 5 let us draw minus 5 also So minus 3 and minus 5 lies in the third quadrant where both the abscissa and the ordinates are in negative form. So this is minus 3 minus 5 and we'll write the answer as 
quadrant third. So this completes the question and simultaneously we have plotted all the points in the figure given we have drawn below. So I hope you enjoyed the session and was a little bit different on plotting the graphs. Bye for now.